The day dawned bright and clear, but there was every possibility that it would not end that way for Corporal Gino Peck, convicted of ammunition offenses. He waited for his moment in court, with his family by his side and supporters standing by. Peck was taken inside the courtroom at 10. By that time, the crowd outside had swelled. There was the requisite chanting, shouting and placards. Not surprisingly, there were political undertones, as well as anger at the Firearm Act. And of course, there were shouts of Free Corporal Peck, which could be heard in the courtroom. Free Peck now! Free Peck now! Free Peck now! Free Peck now! We have been standing out, out here and people have been passing and putting the thumbs up and saying to us, with there we don't know, with there we don't know. Um, people are with us, we have no doubt. If you go on the news, if you go on social media, if you go on the talk show, if you talk to people, everybody is saying, it is unfair, it is unjust. That is why my signs say, free peck and jail penna. You have a situation where you have two members of the house. One, they check, then they write, they clear, clear as daylight. Penna actually admit, admit to doing something fraudulently knowingly and they are still walking free this is a law i repeat that is unjust it is unfair it targets the poor it captures the vulnerable people in its net and it has got to go the sentencing of peck was delayed as the crowd continued to grow there was very noticeable police presence outside not for usual security duties but to show support for their brother awaiting sentencing inside the court the proceeding was finally underway with Peck's attorney, Senior Counsel Simeon Sampson, calling three persons to speak on his client's behalf. Reverend Oliver Otley, Belize Bank Chairman Lyndon Giuseppe, and Commissioner of Police Alan Wiley spoke of Peck's integrity and exemplary character as a man and as a police officer. At 11.30, Chief Magistrate Anne-Marie Smith asked for a short recess, and when she returned at 11.50, she sentenced Peck to fines as opposed to being confined. With that, he was a free man, and he was cheered as he and his family went to pay those fines. For the top brass of the police department, it is a good thing, though they would have wanted him cleared of all charges. Carpal Peck have been working under my direct supervision for a while now, and we have been out here, or me personally have been out, supporting him from the inception of this, of this thing, and that hasn't changed. We are in full support of um, Carpal Peck, and we are very happy to find out that he will not be serving any jail time. You think that justice was done? I don't know what to say. I don't believe that justice has been done, but we are happy for the outcome of the, of the sentencing. We, are, we will still be in the process of appealing this matter to, to relieve him from the charges altogether. I am satisfied with the outcome of the case as it is because I have, been, I have not been satisfied with the events from the time leading up to Gino Peck's arrest and detention. It could have been dealt with differently. The powers that be at the time on the police department, for one reason or the other, blink. Section 33 of the, Poli of the Firearms Act says that no police officer, this act does not apply to a police officer, member of the Belize Defense Force and other forces that carry or keep. No person shall be charged for carrying or keeping ammunition in the execution of their duties. That Gina Peck had six or five 38 rounds. The police department, the weapon in the standing order is 38. Justice, I believe, was served in this matter. I think that the, the magistrate properly tempered justice with mercy in her decision making. And so I must say that we're very pleased at the outcome that Mr. Peck was spared a custodial sentence. Peck emerged at just after midday, family beside him. While the two-year ordeal is now over, it has been a long, difficult road. He is thankful, but uncertain of what lies ahead just yet. One thing I want to say is that I have, I want to thank everybody from the bottom of my heart. Yes, sir from every person who has supported me today, including my department, including every member of my family and my friends. Yes, sir. And I know that when you do honorable things on this earth, that it will always be at the end. Thank you. Sir, so 
How, how is everything with you and your family? Uh, and will you do you plan to continue as a police officer, given the fact that this at, at this time at this time I cannot say that. Yes, but all I need to do around I'm very group with my family, and then I will see where it goes from there. Mike Rodon for News Five.